and welcome to your Go Market Update for Wednesday the 13th of July. Delighted to see you here, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Go Markets, to help you unpick what's going on in the markets today. Let's check out on what's happening across the news. Of course, US markets finished to the downside yesterday as pre-inflation data caution took hold of sentiment. Really, we were pretty neutral on the Dow and the S&P 500 until the last two hours, and then we just saw some selling coming in. Uh, some money came off the table. Uh, US futures are just above neutral in Asia, but really quite choppy. Uh, likewise with the other asset classes as well, to be honest. FX markets are in a fairly tight range, as well as some of the commodities. Asian indices are mixed this morning. The ASX is trading around neutral. The Cosby was the outperformer in early trading. These are off the lows. The ASX opened around about 0.25% to the downside. Be interesting to see how things close with that data due out in a few hours' time. European futures are also suggesting a lower open at this stage. US dollar index paused yesterday after ramping up significantly over the last couple of weeks. It is slightly higher again in Asia against most currencies. And gold has dropped to test the important 1725 level. We also saw a significant drop in oil. We trade significantly, testing $100 support and where the 200 EMA is sitting on the Brent crude contract CFD. Uh, the VIX remains below 28. And like most commodities, we saw sell off in copper as well again. And this broke short term support and is now at nine month lows around about the 330 level. Bitcoin also looks under a little pressure to the downside. It has been in this short term range between around about 18,600 and 21,000. And it is around about 19,500 at the moment. And a potential test of support looks as though it's very much on the cards. Of course, investor eyes, as we've already indicated, will be focused primarily on that U inflation report tonight due out at 10.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and an hour before the US market opens. We've already had Chinese trade numbers across the wires and we've got the, the RBNZ raising interest rates by 0.5% as expected. Somewhat interestingly, the Kiwi hasn't shot up as often is the case. That was firstly because it's been priced in and secondly, possibly the statement that went along with that wasn't as hawkish as maybe markets suspected. In a little over two hours time from when we're recording this, we also get some significant data out of Europe. We've got the German CPI number and UK GDP, all of which are probably contributing to just a little bit of sideways movements in most asset classes. Things will change undoubtedly once the market gets a chance to digest some of this data. And not much in the way of charts, therefore, which are catching our eye this morning. But one that did stand out was Whitehaven Co. And you can see the chart here. This has been on a steady up move since this double bottom formation and a break of $5. Today, we've got an analyst upgrade, which has pushed it to all time highs at around about 545, being the key level on this. Trading towards the highs of the session. So this is interesting, but particularly as the rest of the energy sector is to the downside. So one to keep an eye on, perhaps going forward. Whichever way you slice it, however, today is a high risk day. There is likely to be a recalibration of market thinking in the next eight or nine hours or so until we get that data out from the US. And then we'll have a better idea about where things are. But don't forget, of course, we've got earnings season kicking off in the US tomorrow as well. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.